Hello, Coach. This is Guy Ford from the ECAC Sports Network. Joining us today, we have Coach, Head Coach Kevin Gilmartin from Salve Regina. How you doing, Coach? Uh, living the dream, living the dream. You know, whenever there's an opportunity to play on a football game, everybody gets a little more excited. Absolutely, man. Congratulations on earning the ECAC Bowl bid also. Uh, thank you very much. Absolutely. Coach, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions regarding your program and your season. So, so overall, I know your record last year was 6-4, and four, and your team started out, you know, 1-3 and three on the season, but you finished the season winning five of your last six games. How did you manage to turn, turn it around so quickly? Yeah, what we did was, uh, well, first off, we, we played a very, you know, tough, very competitive schedule, uh, you know, outside of conference. And, uh, you know, playing uh, Montclair State, who, you know, had a phenomenal season, uh, William Patterson and Bridgewater State, you know, three very good teams right out of conference. And so it was, uh, so we, we challenged ourselves in the beginning, you know, and, and then after those three games, we go into conference play and we got MIT and Western New England in the next three games. So, uh, you know, they had great teams as well. So, I mean, we lost a lot of those games, very close games. And so it's very uh, disheartening and demoralizing. But at the same time, the players knew that they were real close from uh, really putting it all together. And then finally, once we started rolling, it really started to click. Awesome, awesome. You know, last year you hosted a game last year, and you're on the road this year. Is is there a different mentality going into the game at Norwich with your team? Well, well this year, you know, at the end of the season, you know, uh, we played Endicott in our final game, you know, and uh, at the end of the game, they had the players, the seniors, thought the, the, uh, their careers were over, you know, and then finally right. the phone call saying that, you know, we have one more game, you know, that, uh, hey, my, my football career isn't over until so we're – we're excited, you know, and uh, they, they got very excited real quick at the fact that they got to play another team. And, uh, you know, you get to go on the road, uh, you know, which nobody ever likes to go on the road, but then at the same time, it's, you're going up to Norwich University, which is, uh, you know, has a, a school with phenomenal tradition. You have tanks in the back of the end zone, a huge anchor in the back of the end zone as well. You know, I mean, how do you get an anchor into central Vermont? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a school that's just, you know, Reached up tradition. Right, you know, right. The fact that South Virginia football has never, never played that team, it, it makes it for a, you know, extremely interesting, extremely exciting situation. Right. Well, you talked about your players being excited, your team being excited, you being excited. Will the players be doing anything specific to prepare for the game? Uh, no, actually, that's one of the things. I mean, like, normally, the game ends on Saturday. You have Saturday to enjoy your win, and then all of a sudden, Sunday, it's get folks and start working on the next week. Uh, this week, uh, you didn't know who you were playing until Monday, you know, so all of a sudden everything got condensed a little bit. But at the same time, it's, it's one of those where you don't want to make it different because it's, you know, business as usual. It's us getting ready to play a football game. You know, yeah. we're going to do our thing. No, we're going to do their thing. And then, you know, let's see what happens on game day. Right, right. I understand, Coach. Now, you talked about um, – uh, everything being condensed and your time frame being short. With that said, what do you anticipate to be the biggest challenge in the game? Uh, you know, getting their bodies ready, you know, getting their – because, like, like I said, normally on Sundays they, they start, uh, you know, getting their bodies focused, you know, getting treatment, you know, getting, getting the, the bumps and bruises from the previous games uh, worked out. All of a sudden they weren't doing that on Sunday, you know, because they didn't think they were playing again. Right. And then all of a sudden Monday they get the call and all of a sudden – all the guys are running towards the uh, back, towards the uh, recreation center and head to the trailer to get their, uh, you know, the turf coat, their, their Bruce ribs, everything else all cleaned up. Yeah. You know, then us as coaches, uh, you know, we have less time to prepare and everything. So, you know, obviously there's not going to be that many, uh, you know, new wrinkles for either team. But at the same time, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure both teams have been working on wrinkles all throughout the season. So there's always be something new coming out. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you guys have worked hard, and, you know, you, you're preparing diligently, and it's, it's impressive, i got to say that. i got a last question for you, Coach. Uh, how can an ECAC Bowl victory help your program moving into next year and the future? That's, I mean, like, bowl, first off, it's a bowl game. You go to a bowl game, you know, we're playing in a football game when not many other Division three school teams are still playing. So, first off, that alone, you know, is an honor. It's something that, that's great for recruiting. And then the win, to be able to win it as well, you know, really propels that as well. And then on top of it, because it's football and there's so limited games, you know, to go from 
six and four to seven and four. It just sounds so much better, you know. Right. So, uh, so the wins are in football are you know each win is instrumental. Right. So uh, to change it from six wins to seven, you know, it just all of a sudden it, it'll make it sound so much better, and so everything. And so it, it would be a huge win in order to get that. Awesome, awesome. Well, coach. You know, we want to really thank you for joining us today, and we're wishing you the best of luck on Saturday, and we know that success is coming your way, so keep up the great work, and thank you very much for this interview, okay? I appreciate that. Thank you, and you have a great day. You too, Coach. Bye-bye.